Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Barrett. I've been a personal stylist for 25 years. I'm gonna to have to say 26 soon, I've just realized. But I'm now here to help you build capsule wardrobes that mix and match easily. So today I wanted to talk to you about the winter fashions that are out here now for 2024. So before I go on, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who is liking, subscribing, sharing. I really appreciate you, your input. It really helps me mold this channel into what you want it to be. In addition, it's been really lovely meeting so many of you in consultations. I know I'm working with quite a few of you now, which is absolutely wonderful. I love helping you and I love meeting you. So if you feel like you need help with your wardrobe, just book in for a consultation with me. I'll put the link here. But first, maybe you just watch this video. So back to today, winter fashion for 2024. Now I have to be honest, it's been quite a while since I've liked a lot of the trends. I really dislike this whole oversized trend and there's a little bit of that left behind in shoulder pads, these ridiculously big shoulders. Think 1980s, but with Star Trek added on, yeah, it's really that bad. That I don't like, but there's quite a few of the trends this year that I really do like. Um, so let me know in the comments at the end what you think. Let me know what your favourites. And also the most important thing I think is, you know, don't necessarily go out and buy more, but just look at what you've got and see if any of the items you got in your wardrobe do apply to these trends. Because essentially shop from your wardrobe and just maybe add in the odd piece if it kind of inspires you. Now the pieces that I've picked today, I've got 10 different um, trends for you today. They're all trends that I think are applicable to the 050s, 60s, 70s. They're kind of the kind of trends that can kind of tra translate through any age group. And so I specifically picked them today out of the trends that are trending for 2024, for winter 2024. Because you know, I totally understand that there are some trends that probably don't quite apply, probably don't quite feel right. Like for example, completely sheer dresses probably don't feel right anymore so i've left those ones out and i've just picked the ones that i know will work for us in addition there's little factors that can kind of come in you know your body shape changes maybe menopause hits you and you put on weight around the middle all of those things can knock your confidence but there is no reason why you can't feel good and why you should feel frumpy so absolutely i do not want anybody feeling invisible i don't want anybody feeling frumpy i don't want anyone not feeling their best so you don't have to take on these trends today but maybe you know if you kind of take on a little bit it'll make you feel like you're a little bit more updated and that's entirely up to you so let's get started Now the first suggestion that I've got for you is actually one of my favourites. Now florals always or most of the time tend to be associated with spring summer but this year there's a lot of florals for autumn winter and of course they come in those really gorgeous deep either jewel colours or autumnal colours and I really like that. I really like florals in those kind of shades. Um, you know I have a dress myself, a burgundy dress, tea dress, you've probably seen me wear it, which is very much in those colours. So yeah, florals florals are big this year um, they're also quite big in terms of the print but I will say if you are petite then maybe go for a medium to smaller size print rather than those bigger prints by the way throughout this video I'm going to show you lots of images of different suggestions that I've got if you fancy any of those all the links will be in the notes so yeah, florals it's one of, that's one of my favorites for this year I really like the idea of it so in dresses and skirts Next up is another favourite of mine and that's chunky knits and I don't mean big and baggy and loose. I mean kind of like cable knits, you know, think, is, think Scottish Highlands, you know, these very kind of very natural looking as well. So I think Merino wool is a really good one. You know, I always try and go for those natural fabrics rather than the man-made fa um, fabrics because A, they're warmer and B, they tend to last better. So yeah, look at the really chunky knits this year. So maybe you could wear a nice chunky knit jumper with a floral skirt or something like that. So, you know, something that's kind of maybe knee or longer length with a nice pair of knee high boots, which again, actually I'll talk about later. So yeah, that's the next one is chunky knit. 
The next one that I've got for you today is Argyle prints or Argyle knits rather. Now again, that's another one of my favourites. I've got some really nice kind of tank tops in an argyle knit. I've also got a really lovely cardigan, which is really thick and cosy. There's something about the change in the seasons. I was talking to a lady recently when I went to a cocktail evening and she was saying to me that she used to live in a part of Australia that didn't really have very much in terms of seasons and she really enjoys being in the UK because of the seasons. And that's one of the things that I kind of really enjoy about it is having the chance to kind of swap my wardrobe around and get those argyle knits out as well. So again, this is another one that I really like. So we've got, so far we've got the florals, we've got the chunky knits and now the argyle knits. So go for that in whatever colours works for you. Like I say, you can go for a cardigan or a jumper or a tank top. I really like having a tank top, pink, picking one of the colours out of the argyle knit and then matching that to a shirt underneath. Particularly if it's a v-neck tank top, that works really, really well. Now, the next one is a little bit of a quirky one, but I know some of you will like it. Some of you will be like, oh, no, that's not for me. But some of you I know will like it. And I definitely do. And that is suits with ties. So I think the best way to do this, on the catwalk, it was very much about just any kind of suit and tie and just that very kind of sort of almost corporate but very suited three-piece suit look for women which I really like but I think what you can do if you want to in the way that I would interpret it interpret this for my own personal taste would be to do it in like a tweed um, so I'm actually in talks right now which I'm really excited about I'm going to show you this as well I'm really excited about with a um, tailor in Savile Row in London and we are going to design and uh, make a three-piece suit for me which I'm so excited about so I'm going to show you the whole process from where we pick the fabrics and we decide what we're going to do right the way through to the finished products I can't wait for that so yeah suits and ties it might be for you it might not be for you but like I say pick and choose bits of this that you like you maybe could even go for a shirt tie blazer and a floral skirt <clears throat> it, you don't have to kind of or just go for the pants you do all the trousers you don't have to go for the whole thing. Remember, you can mix these things up to make them to your taste. So the next one is quite an unusual one, actually. I'm not sure. I have seen them before, but not actually as an actual sort of trend. So that's quite interesting because most trends that you see now are something that's happened previously. But they're trousers and pants with like a wrap piece over the top of the front of them so think like Thai fisherman trousers but only much more corporate looking um, and I think that's partly because as well later on I'm going to talk about another garment which is similar which has come through but these are come through and I really quite like them they're a little bit quirky and they're a little bit unusual but I really quite like them now you might want to avoid these or try them on at least in the shop if you've got a very big tummy because it might add too much bulk but it, what it might do is skim over the top because it's kind of a flat piece of material that comes straight away across and ties up at the side. So I've not actually worked with these yet, so I'm really interested to see how they do work on it, um, people. So if you do go to get some, you try some on, let me know what you think. So yeah, that's trousers, quite corporate, kind of quite smart, formal looking trousers, but with a, a piece that flaps over the front and kind of um, buckles or ties at the side. Next up is really fluffy kind of jumpers. Now this one I'm not quite as keen on and part of the reason is because I find that the fluff sticks to everything. Also I've got a fluffy cat which is even worse. His fluff sticks to everything. So I'm not a huge fan of fluffy jumpers and I do think you've got to be very very careful with them. If you have put on a little bit of weight around your middle or particularly around your torso and you wear these fluffy jumpers then it will just be aware that it will add bulk and it will add extra to that area. Now what you could possibly do is find something where it's in gloves or where it's in hat or something else. But yeah, those kind of fluffy knits, which very much we saw, I think around the 80s time, that's back again. Now that one I'm not quite as keen on, but you know, it may be for you. I wanted to put it out there because I know some of you will love it. 
In addition, one of the things that I want to talk to you about as well is I have a capsule wardrobe guide, which is free. You can download it from my website. You can use the link here to actually find that. And that will really help you because you can fill it out as you go along. And I've got lots of questions I ask you about what to keep, what to discard, what to get rid of in that guide. So definitely download that if you're trying to edit your wardrobe. Now this one I absolutely love and that's ski knits. So I think the kind of fair isle kind of knits across the top, I think very much Christmas, but not with Father Christmas blatted all over it. But those ski knits, so those kind of 1970s, 1980s ski knits. Now I, again, really like this. I had a jumper that I bought pre-loved when I was at university and it was black, white, and pink, which might sound awful, but I absolutely loved it. And it was an original ski jumper. So it was quite structured and uh, stupidly at the time I put it in a washing machine on too high and it shrunk and I never was able to wear it again and I absolutely loved that jumper. So think the fair old knits, you know, any of those jumpers across cardigans, again across tank tops or again across jumpers and um, yeah, or sweaters if you're in the States. I know somebody once in the comments said to me, what's a jumper? So yes, a sweater. So um, yeah, so those kind of um, fair old prints across the top Again, they work really nicely with floor print skirts. They could work nicely with your formal trousers. I, again, really like the idea of wearing a tank top a bit like that. Again, I've got a tank top in it. I've got several tank tops, so I really love them. They keep my torso warm and it means I can wear some kind of funky shirt underneath. And I like matching the colors through. If you look some of my uh, Instagram videos, you'll see that I've actually done that. I pick out one of the colors of the um, knit and then I match it to one of the colors of the shirt and that's how I make it work. So yeah, those Fair Isle knit stoked ski styles, that's absolutely fantastic. I love them. Something else I want to talk to you about as well, which is really, really exciting. So I was invited by YouTube to a big boot camp in the last few weeks and they were talking to me about memberships and um, the benefits of memberships and benefits to all of you guys. And so I'm actually looking at that right now so that I've actually asked a question quite a few times what you'd like to see. I've got a short video in my list where I'm asking you kind of your input on that. So I'd really appreciate your input because I want to develop this channel not only based on the questions you're asking me in the comments but also so I can give you as much feedback and as much help as possible and for those of you that maybe aren't quite there to be able to access some of my personal styling packages then that membership might actually be something that you can consider because it's going to be a really reasonable price and I'm hoping to do Q&A's each month and much more interactive content so definitely you know what let me know what you think about that Next up is an accessory and that's knee high boots. Now I mentioned these briefly earlier and that's the reason why I kept this one a little bit quiet. I love knee high boots. Now I recently did a video about petite people because I am kind of petite myself and someone asked me, you know, can I wear knee high boots over the knee, knee boots? And I said, yes, I think you can um, because I wear them myself. But what I really like about them is they keep my legs warm when it's cold. So, you know, underneath your floral skirt, on top of a pair of um, leggings, however you want to wear them. But yeah, knee high boots, I'm so pleased they're back because they just keep your, your um, legs really warm. Now, if you have trouble with calf widths, look, look at some of the options. There are quite a few options now with different calf widths, widths, different calf widths. Try and say that a hundred times really quickly. Um, <laughs> different calf widths, widths, <laughs> widths, so that you can um, actually choose one that works for you. Now the next one and the last one is black believe it or not. I've actually got head to toe black on today, but that's partly because I'm not really going anywhere today. I want something just cozy for today. Um, and I've got my black kind of leggings and this little jumper. So yeah, it's head to toe black. So if black's a color you like, then black is in. It's not the little black dress, it's the little black everything. Head to toe in black. So you'll look like you're probably going to a funeral, but if you absolutely love it, then um, black is the color for you. So there's my 10 trends for you for winter 2024. 
Now I've got one more for you, one little extra, and I saved this one till last because it's actually my favorite and it sort of links into one of the others, or well, a couple of the others that I mentioned earlier, and that is kilts. So the tweed is back. I absolutely love my tweeds. I love wearing my tweeds with the argyle. I love wearing my tweeds with the fair isle. I love wearing my tweeds with my tank tops and my floral shirts. So to me, this year is absolutely bang on what I what I absolutely love. Now the reason why it links in the earlier because of the way that, that a kilt kind of does up at the side, that's similar to how the trousers, the pants that I mentioned earlier do up. So it's interesting that kilts and those trousers are back in for this year. It's like the trousers it's almost like an extension of the kilts but I absolutely love those kilts so I've actually got one myself as you can see so uh, yeah one of my favorites so just to summarize basically this year it's very much country tweed think Balmoral think you know if you don't know what Balmoral is it's where the Queen sometimes lives in Scotland think chunky knits think cable knits think fair isle argyle uh, tweeds kilts knee-high boots you can wear your knee-high boots with your kilt or you can wear your knee-high boots underneath a longer floral skirt so it's really cozy kind of practical clothing for that season so i absolutely love it let me know in the comments what you like best about all the trends that i've suggested let me know whether you've got anything in your wardrobe and whether you're now kind of thinking and your mind's going oh i can get that out and i can match that with that or put this with this let me know i'd really love to hear from you and that's where the membership might work quite well because you can show me you know we can have a live and you can show me that would be amazing so let me know in the comments what you think like subscribe download my free guide as well if you're editing your wardrobe and also book in for a consultation with me i'd love to meet you i genuinely love talking to you and don't feel if you are sat there right now and you're thinking oh but I look awful and I feel awful I feel frumpy there's no way she's going to want to talk to me don't you dare think that don't you dare think that I do not want anybody watching my channel feeling like they feel low feeling like they feel invisible so just before I go please today if you're walking down the street and you see somebody whatever age they are and they're wearing something you like you like the way they've done their hair you like something about the effort they've put in today tell them because that's what I want to spread so have a wonderful week wherever you are and I will see you next week take care bye bye